I'll speak first. What's on third? I'm good. That Easily was a joke. Turn? See, that was a joke. That was funny. Somebody's going to get that. No. No one's going to get that, Diesel. That's a really old joke. Okay, I, I see what it is. <laughs> you are old. <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> ha 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 ha. I want to fucking die anyway. I didn't watch any of E3 um, because video yeah, that's games why make me angry. <laughs> I don't that's like why he's E3. Actually, do you surprisingly you you missed like the best E three one of the best E three. Really, I I recently, am so yeah. over it. <laughs> I'm so over E three. I'm so cynical to it. I I can't be bothered because it's always. It was the same actually shit. like, it was actually like a good E three. Hold this on, year. did like, a car fall long. from the ceiling? No. From behind a door. No. Okay, hold on. I actually don't I see remember Forza there being any Horizon cars. Four on here. So if. There's not a car that showed up in a Microsoft presentation. I'm very surprised. I don't think a car did show up from what I can I, remember. I think you're full of shit. Oh, my God. No, I, okay. I, I actually before, I don't remember there being a car on stage. Real fast. Before we go any further, uh, fair warning. Our boys in blue, Diesel and Brandon, are going off to VidCon while I'm trapped in this box. So uh, we're going to be posting episodes weekly up until the 30th of June. Just a fair warning ahead of time. Yeah, so instead of every Tuesday and Saturday, it's going to be every Saturday uh, up until the 30th. And then after that, it will go back to, uh, twice a week, so Tuesday and Saturday. Name Jeff. So I'll also pin a tweet on Twitter so no one forgets, even though we meant to do it last episode, but we forgot to tell people in last episode as well. Well, so, don't, well you know. remember not to forget. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> remember not to forget. <laughs> I'll tell past me that when I develop a time machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Diesel, I don't, I don't remember there being any cars on stage. Well, I guess I'm so, just being an asshole then. And so you, so you did miss be. the best E3. E3 uh, version. Well, I don't know about that. E3 version. Okay, so yeah, E3 version. I know quite watched some of it, and then you don't watch any of it. I watched pretty much all of it. I watched it with Quacky because I'm making this video on it. Um, so the first people that presented were EA and. Um, EA was probably one of the most underwhelming ones because, well, they spoiled pretty much everything they were going to talk about and the fucking description on YouTube. Um, so every game they were talking about was, like, in the description. So that was kind of just, like, eh. Uh, Anthem got a release date. Um, it's February 22nd, and there's also, like, four other games coming out that day. One of those games being Days Gone, which looks okay. Um, but uh, Anthem literally just looks like Destiny 2, but with jetpacks. Like... That's pretty much it. Diesel, would you agree with that? Um, going off of the five seconds of the four-minute trailer that I just looked at now, um, I mean, it, it uh, surface level looks like Destiny. The shooting mechanics look a bit more uh, like Mass Effect, probably because it's Bioware. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, the suits look nice. I like the designs. I like heavy industrial mech stuff. Hold on. Does this co-op gameplay have the stupid gamer chat? Yes. And every time I see the gamer chat stuff, it really just like it's it's annoying because it's like that's not how anybody talks at all. Like it's not how gamers are gonna talk in games. They're gonna curse each other constantly. We should try <laughs> playing games like they think people play games. <laughs> see, you only play games like that if you're playing with randoms. That's it. You don't even and play like, that tactically with randoms. So no, is like, like is um <laughs> is Anthem Monster Hunter? It kind of looks like it. It's like it's like Monster Hunter with robot suits. <laughs> with robot suits. <laughs> because because you are like from what I can gather the concept is like there's big monsters outside and you have to kill them. Ooh. Wow. So, sounds sounds compelling. Yeah, but the reason I say it's like it's like Destiny 2 isn't because of like gameplay but like it's EA basically trying to cre recreate Destiny. I know cuz that makes Mint and and Best Destiny. Jesus. I hob. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty convinced, by the way, that IHOB was totally just, um, totally just a marketing ploy. Yes, it was. it was. What do you mean? Where yeah, exactly. Have you been? This is the news that well, matters. Well, because, like, I think in the last episode, did, it, did we agree that it was, I don't think we did agree that it was, uh, their name changed, but everyone on Twitter was talking like their their name actually changed. Yeah, we, we all said it was, like, a marketing gimmick, but we all yeah. wanted it to be, like, International House of Breakfast. Um, that was Yeah, the, but like, it was, instead of just change. burgers. Instead yeah. of just burgers. <laughs> I'm really disappointed by that. I would have appreciated a rebranding. Really? I, I yeah. Would, I don't, I'm, I'm fine with IHOP. I like IHOP. I like IHOP. IHOP's such a better name. A genius funnier. marketing move, TBH. I saw the tweet that it was like, move. would you like a Bepsy with that? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and then and then And then Burger King changed the thing to Pancake King. <laughs> Did you see the Wendy's <laughs> response? It was like fucking, uh, we, never mind, I forgot what the tweet was. 
Ah, uh, good. It, well. it was something about it was something about fresh patties or something like that. It's, it's like, oh yeah, yeah. Why would we cons- Why would we like be scared of the competitions who thought making pancakes was too hard? <laughs> <laughs> that was the tweet. It's so weird to see like this the the fucking accounts of you know restaurants going at each other constantly. Fast food is cool. more vicious than like local I- Twitter. I mean, they do pretty get, good job of being hip and cool. Like, it's not old yet. It's kind of funny still. So, there is. I think Moon Pie does it the best. Like TBH, Moon Pie. Like what it, they do. They they just it feels so natural. Like I don't know. It just like hits. It tickles my comedy bone in all the right spots. Moon Pie. Don't they like? Didn't they respond to somebody like and just mean the shit out of them? Moon Pie yeah, policy. Moon Four pie red. Politics. Okay. Moon pie politics. You know, if you really take all the consonants out of moon pie, you are left with the word ooey, which is the exact noise my dad makes when he sits down on the couch. Ooey. Ooey. <laughs> ooey, that sure was a funny. I'm not supposed to say this, but honestly, we don't know if the moon pies like being eaten or not. We just had a big meeting about it. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> It sounds like our fucking podcast. Why Twitter. do people eat spiders in their sleep but not moon pies? Why do we not talk about this? <laughs> That's a good one. I fucking love their Twitter. It's amazing. Not sponsored, by the way. Yo, Moon Wish. Pie, hit us up. Yeah, yeah Moon Pie, hit, hit up Loud Mouse. <laughs> <Plus podcast. laughs> Loud Mouse Podcast. I'll eat a Moon Pie. Or, tweet at moon, moon Pie to sponsor us. Thanks, thanks. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> people are going to yeah, do that. So, did you say people aren't going to do that? People are going to do that, not are. Okay, yeah. People are going to do that, you're right. We said not to yell, and people yelled, so why wouldn't they tweet at Moon Pie? Okay, when we said don't yell in a library, we were pretty, like... <laughs> we were pretty clear. <laughs> well, no, we were pretty clear that it's like... <laughs> I'm not I'm not saying you should yell in a library, but I'm saying it, it'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what we said. You guys remember when this was an E3 episode? Yeah, that's what yeah, it's fuck like. just... E3, yo. I don't want to talk about Battlefield 5 having a Battle Royale mode. We yeah, are I'm talking sure Battlefield... about Battlefield 5 I'm having a Battle sure Royale. I'm sure Battlefield is really going to compete in the completely competitive and not oversaturated market of Battle Royale games, okay? You love Fortnite, don't lie. I play a lot of Fortnite, but like... I don't want another... <laughs> Battle Royale is oversaturated. I'm it's not like going to buy Battlefield 5 Dota. for Battle Royale, is the point. Yeah. Diesel's like, gonna roll up in LA with a big sign saying, Not my battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> not my battlefield! No, I'm, I'm gonna do that because of the women in battlefield, okay? I, okay. Historical inaccuracies. Hate it. Well, not my battlefield. Oh my well, God. you know what? So, it's funny because um, after they said that we're not trying to be historically accurate, uh, there's, there was like an article from some company saying, Battlefield 5 is trying to make its skins historically accurate. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it was just funny. Everyone got pissy. Uh, Brady, so, do you want to tell us uh, the fucking story behind Unravel 2 and the Sea of Solitude? I have no idea what Sea of Solitude is, except the art style looks cool, and Unravel 2 is kind of cool. Unravel 2 is like a... It's like a co-op game. Like, a, it's similar to A Way Out, and I actually think it'd be fun to play. We still need to play A Way Out! I know. Did you say <laughs> the day, like, before you guys left, you would? Yeah, we should. Diesel, do you have time Sunday to play? Sunday? Yeah. Um, I should have time Sunday. Yeah, we can, we can just stay up late <laughs> after we're done packing. Oh, I'm not going to stay up late, bro. I got to get ready and like get up oh. early to get on my plane. I what time is your flight? Like 9 a.m. That's not that early. Mine's That's very up. early. I have to drive down to the city. Wait, you have to... Oh, wait, wait, your flight's at 9. You don't have to get up at 9. No, I don't have to get up at 9. I have to get up at like okay. 6. Okay. Oh my god, you're getting up really early my time. Wow. You're going to get up at 3 a.m. my time. <laughs> Have fun. Damn. I go to Damn. bed at 6. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at least you'll stay up and play. I mean, you are you driving yourself or is someone driving you? No, what are you nuts? I'll fall asleep on the ride up. Okay. Oof. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, you just you could just sleep in the, the plane then. So you can stay up late. Uh, I hate sleeping on planes. You're, you're going to want to sleep on the Dude. plane, I think. I wish I could have fell asleep in the plane. I don't want to sleep on the plane Boston. and then be awake. All night at the house. Well, I mean, it's a different time zone, isn't it? So it yeah, doesn't mean my sleep clock resets. No, no but it's like no, you, you, you need you to would, stay up. You would you land. Stay up later. Yeah, you would land at one. My sleep schedule here would be fucked. It, so no, you would land like, at one this PST. Is like, this is how you. That's like how you fix your sleep schedule when you travel. Yeah, you would land one PST, like, and if, then like 
you don't you want to stay awake on the way back so like when your body is like tired more tired earlier in the day because like you don't have you want to stay up as late you don't want to stay up as late yeah do you really want to stay awake on like a 13 hour flight I was going to. Is it 13 hours? I was going to play Breath of the Wild. (laughs) Your Switch would die. Do you have a battery bank? I do have a battery bank. Yeah, but still, it's like... Dude, you... you, Okay, second hour in, you'd be bored of shit. No, I have, like, 30 hours in that game. That's it? I haven't... I just started playing it. (laughs) I'm going to 100% it before I even get to Ganon. I'm going to beat every single shrine. Speaking of video games... Yeah, good video Stop games. trying to put us back on course, quite. <laughs> We're having yeah, a conversation here. Hold on. Uh, Can I talk uh, about last year's E3? Oh my God. Sure. Okay, what? so do you remember when they like presented Unravel? Was that 2017 or 2016? Uh, okay, I don't remember. That. Okay, but you remember the guy getting up and like fucking almost crying when he presents his game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the dude this time was super like excited to uh, show his game. So. Yeah, well, uh, do you remember how after he was, like, done crying and giving his, like, emotional, like, presentation of Unravel, that the Plants vs. Zombies, like, characters just came running out dancing on fucking stage? Ugh. I remember you told me about this. Oh my god, that was so cringy. Like, it was, <laughs> the tonal shift was so hard. It was like watching a puppy, like, be slaughtered, and then all of a sudden clowns come in and start honking their horn. <laughs> oh god. Jesus Christ. That's how hard of a tonal shift it was. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but the guy this time was really, um, really excited to show off on Ravel too. I love how this is an E3 podcast. We just keep staring off in a random shit every time. By the way, let me correct it. Uh, the flight's only eight hours or so. Okay, <laughs> it's not that's great. I'm glad. I'm, I'm doing. Listen, Brandon. I'm doing my best to keep it on track. Yeah, but no. like, no, you're doing your best. <laughs> to un- you're doing your best to undermine my efforts. Yeah, and then but like for EA Sports, it literally says who cares because it's like who, EA who Sports is the same every year. You didn't even, even know bother, present- You didn't even bother to put an S. You just put who care. Yeah, because it's like. Who care? <laughs> like, who care, bro? Like, who cares? EA Sports is the same thing every fucking year. It's just a, a bigger number. Like, that's the only difference. So, the, and then, like, Microsoft revealed a new Halo. Halo Honest, Infinite. Honestly, man, around, like, the turn of, like, the millennia, like, I feel like fucking uh, EA Sports just really took a turn. Like, they went all the way back from 99 to zero. Can you believe that? Wow, that's Shut crazy. Up. But, uh, Microsoft, Halo Infinite. Yeah, hey, so I don't know who's watched the trailer for Halo Infinite. I saw the trailer. Um, but I have. Quackity, Quack, when we were watching it, Quackity made a joke, and he's just like, Lion King, the movie, or the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was pretty good. But uh, basically, it's just a big teaser for Halo, and this is rumored to be a, um open-world game. So that's going to be interesting. It's also rumored to actually be on the PC this time. Um, especially God. since NVIDIA tweeted out saying, like, who knows? Maybe it'll be on PC, which is kind of like they probably know if it's gonna be on PC or not. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's also leaked to be on PC, so it looks like it's gonna be decent. Um, but it's it's sadly, I don't know if they're actually gonna make another traditional Halo game. This might be like one of the last Halo games because, or it's gonna be this forever because uh, they the Microsoft team was questioned, Are "You guys gonna make Halo Six anytime soon?" And they're like, "Nah, <laughs> nah, nothing." So, yeah, we're not making Halo Six. That kind of sucks. So yeah, if you want I a traditional mean, Halo, I, 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 I would Halo be now. excited for like a, a game, like an open world game in like the Halo universe. That sounds lit. I think it'd be interesting, but like at the same time, every every person's doing open world of some kind at this point. Like open world. I think game. they could do it well. I don't know, man. Uh, I yeah, love I think they have games. a lot more. I think they have a lot more grounds to stand on. Uh, like it's similar to how like Fallout, for example, is doing um, an open world game now. Uh, Fallout seventy six, which we'll talk about later. But it's like they they have a really good base universe. For that okay, kind of stuff. So allow me to complain about the Halo universe now. <laughs> yes. You, so I'm you a can huge Halo fan. Huge Halo fan. Um, that green hat I have that people like like and I never wear. Um, that hat is a Halo hat. But like I, I can't fucking stand a universe right now because of the stuff that they've like added in. So uh, do you guys play Halo Four? Yeah. No. Okay. So actually, kinda. I quite. Did bit. you read the books? No. So did you have any idea who the, the I don't think I was? even beat the campaign on Halo 4. Really? Nah, okay. I just So, like, care. if you don't read the books, the Didact just kind of shows up and you're like, who's this guy? Why is he such an asshole? Right? Like, why is he so evil? And it's like, he's evil, you gotta kill him. Like, I guess that's motivation for some people. But I was really fucking confused because they'd introduce characters that you had never seen. Because you gotta read all the expanded universe. Like... It, it, it's ridiculous. Like, you had to read three books to learn about why the didact's an asshole. 
Um, there was like this guy, ah, fuck, I forget his name, but he was in a uh, Halo Forward Unto Dawn where he was like a kid and Master Chief saved him. Um, now he's like the commander of a ship and he has this like heart to heart with Chief at the end of Halo Four, and you're like, dude, I spent like five fucking minutes with you. Why why are you doing this? Um, and then in Halo Five, they made a uh, Fall of Reach like canon. So Fall of Reach was the only Halo book I like finish the other ones i read wikipedia articles on because fuck that um but in that master chief has like his squad which is why you saw like halo 5 had those other spartans in it and like if you didn't play if you didn't read the book you have no idea who those fuckers are so like i didn't play halo 5 it's not on pc so i can't get caught up on the halo universe so i have no idea what's going on and why the fuck he's there or like anything so it's hard to get into the universe when they force you to read all this extra crap. That's my yeah, rant. Right. It's done. Okay. I, I I mean, I can understand that. Reading a book to get lore, that's stupid. If it's a game. Like, you shouldn't need to read the books to understand the lore of a game. It should be on the game. You I know? Mean, or like, at least I, I like extras online. like that. Like, supplemental material. But it shouldn't replace the fucking game. It shouldn't be, like, the main shit to understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, you, you should be able to understand the majority of the game without reading a book about it. So, yeah, but Halo, I don't know. I, I, Halo always felt like a PC game, and the fact that it wasn't on PC was just really annoying. Because it's like, playing Halo on the Xbox when I had 360, it, like, you would play it and just like, wow, this feels like it should be on a PC. Like, 100%. Like, the, it, oh my god, it just annoys me that that game was not on PC. Like, at all. It's so annoying. I mean, at least... Halo Infinite might be on PC, but like at the same time, it's gonna be on the Microsoft Store. <laughs> I hate the Microsoft Store. Gross. That's where yeah, I discovered I, my love for Murder Miners on the Xbox Live Indie Store. The Indie Store. That's different from the Microsoft Store. Oh yeah, I know, but it just brought up yeah. memories of good Xbox. Xbox Live was Xbox Live was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I made it was so, so many fun. friends. On- so many friends on Black Ops too. So many. Especially every, every like since everyone's mic sounded like complete ass, <laughs> it just made it even better. It was just so authentic. It, it was a feel you couldn't get anywhere else. The thought, like the feel of ha- having being torn limb from limb, can't get it anywhere else. Yeah, then PS3 didn't even like PS3 had like the most clunky fucking headset options available ever. Uh, <laughs> so that sucked. Uh, the next the next game that Microsoft presented though, by the way. Um, I might skip some games because I did leave some out that like totally would don't even understand anything about. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Uh, don't know much about this game. I own Ori in the Blind Forest, um, but I haven't really played it that much. This game looks decent though. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the, ne- the next game. Do you quite? <laughs> Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I guess. Okay. I don't want to fuck it up. I don't know uh, if that's how you say it either. But I'm Asian. So Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. That. This game looked really interesting. Um, Dark Souls. Let me make sure it's the right game. Dark it Souls looked a like, it, oh, yeah, it looked I, I've like seen Dark Souls a Samurai, but like it looked fun. Like it looked like a fun game to play. Um, Sony also had a similar game like this um, that they showed off, but like it looked like a fun game to play. Um, Crackdown Three. Um, how, have you guys seen the trailer for that? Terry Crews simulator. Yeah, it it looks like Saints Row Four. <laughs> like that's God, like the best it's like way the to green put it. screen Terry Crews in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does look like him a lot. That's because it Black- is him. Yeah, I know that. But like, I don't know. Sometimes game uh, representations of people don't look don't look good at all. Oh, you know. I mean, we'll get to Death Stranding at some point. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> you didn't even put that on here, did you? <laughs> no, I did. I did, but I remembered it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that game's a fucking oh, god. It looks really interesting, but it's so hard to grasp. Anyways, Crackdown Three kind of just looks like Saints Row Four, in my opinion. Like, I'm I know that like. I'm pretty sure Crackdown 2 is like this as well, but Saints Row 4, it just looks like Saints Row 4. It's pretty much it. Saints Anybody have opinions 4. on Crackdown? Saints Row 4. Yeah. Diesel, you? Crackdown? Opinions? Um, I'm probably not going to get it, but I'll pick it up when it's $5 in a GameStop bin. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, Metro Exodus. Um, this game looks fucking beautiful. Um, that's like... I, I don't like I don't play Metro games, but like it looks fucking gorgeous. Like the game looks amazing. So that's the only reason for me to buy this. Just looks really good. Have hey, you guys played any Metro book. games? Uh, no. Uh, I've no. not played any of the Metro Actually, games. Actually, yes. I've played uh, I played uh 2033. 
Yeah, I have I have a couple Metro games, but like I got one, I got a couple in Humble Bundle, and then I played one, and it was too spooky for me, so I just didn't play it. Yep, that sounds yeah. like a real thing. I believe. I've been meaning that. to play Metro. <laughs> That's the one I played. That's the one I got for uh, on sale. Um, Kingdom of Hearts three has this been looks announced. So pretty. Oh my it, god! It's been announced for like years. <laughs> I guess it got I, a I, release I don't, date. I really don't know much about Kingdom Hearts 3, except for the fact that every time they fucking showed the trailer, it was missing the sound effects. I yeah, know I know. Like, I was watching it, I was watching or... it on fucking uh, YouTube, and I was like, what is, where are the sound effects? Yeah, they showed this trailer, trance? they showed this trailer three fucking times, and it only has music and voices, no sound effects at all. So a lot of the stuff that happens just looks really weird, because it's like, you expect the sound to be there. But there's no sound there. <laughs> it's just them talking and the music. That's it. Oh, yeah. This trailer is really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, they they do this. Uh, according to Quackity, they do this every year, right? Every single year. It, it's all They always fuck up the, the audio. And there's never any um, audio for the game. And they do this three times in a row whenever they show to Kingdom Hearts. So I bet the sound effects are gonna be like revolutionary. It's gonna be like fantastic. That's why they just put it in. They didn't want people copying them. They don't the want. They don't want like anybody to uh, fucking like be spoiled for it. So yeah. none of us played Kingdom Hearts like any of those games. No, I played Kingdom Hearts as a kid. I fucking loved it. Okay, I didn't so play you know Kingdom what the Hearts. story is because I've tried to kind like, of watch it, it, breakdowns. I don't. I don't think it works. <laughs> I think it makes no sense. Like I, I don't like. I think I, it. I think it well, like doesn't correlate. Like it doesn't flow at all. The, from what like, I can I've tell, they just add times. random Disney characters, <laughs> whatever they can. And like a Final Fantasy story about the light and the darkness in Kingdom Hearts. It's got Hearts. Final Fantasy, Disney, and then some Hold uh, on. original Quite. character. Can you steal. answer this question for me? Someone will correct me in the comments anyway. But is Kingdom Hearts a real place, or is that like a is that like a metaphorical thing? Are they talking about like a thing that exists? I don't know. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna I, try I to answer that. I know nothing about Kingdom Hearts. I, know. I know nothing about Kingdom Hearts except like. They fucked up the trailer. Oh, yeah, like, I only played, like, one game, like, when I was, like, very small, like, maybe eight, and it was, like, uh, I rented it from Blockbuster. It was, a king. don't, don't, don't ask how I got it. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, fucking, the three slash, the three, seven, four slash whatever days thing. That guy, I fucking love that game. 58 and a half quarter days or whatever. I fucking wait. love that game. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about Blockbuster for a second, right? What games do you guys distinctly remember renting at Blockbuster? That one. Ape what about Escape. you, Diego? Ape Escape. You Ape guys Escape? ever played any of those? No. Nope. All right, it's a game where you go around with a, like a like a Jedi like a Jedi sword like a Jedi sword a fucking lightsaber. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jedi sword. <laughs> Light that was beam stupid. sword and, uh, beam saber. And this what you call it? Um, a net, right? And you capture monkeys, and there's five boss monkeys that you got to get in every game. Ape Escape 3 is the best, though. It allows you to transform into different superheroes. Okay. Yeah. So it's like Ben 10 the, with monkeys. Actually, Ape Escape 3 is like Ben 10. <laughs> ben 10 <laughs> with <laughs> monkeys. Yeah. Oh, my but God. They're I actually really was, good games. I wish there was, like, a, a good Ben 10 game that came out. Like, I can't remember any ones that were, like, actually good. They're like, I great. played one they're of the DS great. when I was younger, but that's pretty much it. The one of the DS was fantastic. Masterpiece. 10 out of 10. I don't remember, like, I don't remember if I just thought it was good because I, I was a kid and I liked it, or if it was actually good. I'm pretty so. sure it was because I was a kid, but I have no idea. Yeah. Like, I, uh, they, I the, don't remember it at all. The game I distinctly remember getting from Blockbuster, though, was, you remember Blob? That Wii game? The Blob, no. yeah. So yeah. Where you painted stuff? Yeah, I distinctly yeah, I remember, remember that getting that game. And <laughs> I, like, I don't even remember playing it. I just remember I got that game at Blockbuster and rented it. That's it. So, Whew. anyways, Forza Horizon Four. It's cars that are pretty. I, I don't play anybody else. Games. This is anybody the Coachella else? Yeah, of racing games. The Coachella of racing games. Yes. Yeah, Forza's like. It's there, I guess. Do they come out with one every year? Yes. It's either okay, a Horizon so or a For Forza numbered game. So it should it should be Forza Forza. <laughs> Doctor disrespect. It should be Forza Horizon. Who care? Okay. Um, Cuphead's getting an expansion, apparently. Um, I When I first saw this, I actually thought it was a new game. Because it's not coming out until 2019. Damn. So, 
it's probably going to be a, a pretty hefty DLC. If because it is like. You think just a DLC would come out pretty quick, but like, well, I mean, damn. if they're if they're creating new assets the same way they did with the base game, then like, I can see like something that's normal size taking that long. Because like, didn't the fucking original development cycle for Cuphead take fucking forever? Because every single asset was hand drawn. Yeah, yeah, I guess then. But like, I don't know. I was just surprised. I'm like, wow, they're they're announcing a DLC really fucking early if it's coming out 2019. So like, because like usually DLC is announced like a couple months before it comes out. You know. Um, so, like, that was interesting to me. Um, but, like, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't personally finished Cuphead. Um, actually, is Cuphead on the Switch? I have no idea. I don't know if it is. I think they talked about it going on the Switch, but... Uh, is Cuphead on the Switch? Let's see. Um, I don't think it is, because I think I remember... Okay, no, it is, I think. Dark Souls. I I think. Dark Souls isn't on the Switch yet, which kind of upset me, because I wanted to play that in the flight to LA, but it's not on the Switch yet, so I can't buy it. Um, so that annoyed me. Um, but it, it looks interesting. I haven't finished Cuphead 1, though, because it's hard, and I suck. So, <laughs> I just haven't picked it back up. I have, like, six hours in it or something like that. It's a good game, though. I'd recommend it if you like challenging games. Anything else to say about Cuphead? He's pretty. Okay, there we go. Uh, Dying Light 2. Who here played Dying Light? I didn't, but uh, I, I wanted to when it first came out, and I just never got around to it. Diesel, about you? I played like 10 hours of it. Um, I mean, it was okay. It was kind of clunky. Really? You thought it was clunky? Yeah, I thought the movement mechanics could be a bit smoother. I didn't think... I don't know. I liked that game a lot. I thought the I thought it was a really interesting take on a zombie-type games. Because usually zombie games are like, you get gun, you shoot zombie. But like this game, it's more of like, avoid them best you can. Um... So that was interesting with that game. I, I really like Dying Light. It was, it was a fantastic game, in my opinion. Um, but Dying Light 2 got announced, and apparently they really smoothed out the parkour. Um, so it's a lot smoother now. So, like, that whole clunky thing, that should be fine. It, it looked like Mirror's Edge, the way he was running around. So yeah, it, no, it was like, a, it looks... I'm really interested to see, like, how what you can do with, like, that choice system. Like, I know it's not groundbreaking, but, like, how that unfolds in a world like Dying Lights, I think, would be cool. Yeah, um, it looks it looks really good though. It, the devs even said it's really different to the original. So like, if you didn't like the original, it's like something Dying Light Two might be something you want to look at. Um, but like, that looks like a good game. Now, Diesel, I know you've re- have, you've talked about this a lot, haven't you? Um, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Yes, I love Cyberpunk yeah. crap. Um, so how about you talk about this? Have you looked? In, have you did you watch the trailer at all? I, I did watch the trailer. Um, it's more like. It's less Blade Runner, more Deus Ex looking now. But, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks like The Witcher, but in the future, like, what am I supposed to say? Aside from, like, this is something to actually be hyped about because CD Projekt Red hasn't put out a bad product. They've been constantly getting better and better, so I have faith in them. I'm excited. It's taking so long. It looks good. It looks good. I, I'm, I'm interested. Is it an open world that does, like, any information like that out? Because I just watched the trailer because I... I didn't know much about this before. Um, I'm pretty sure it's open world, but uh, it's not coming out to the year 2077, so, you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because I've heard this talked about a lot, but, like, there's been very little uh, information about it. Okay, so now we're on to Bethesda. Now, Bethesda, um, there's a couple things they did. Um, actually, real quick. Actually, never. we'll do it at the end. Never mind. Um, Bethesda has put out a trailer for Rage 2, and Rage 2 looks, in my opinion, extremely mediocre. Uh, who who here watched the Rage 2 trailer? Anybody? Um, well, I'm going to look at it right now, but I do know that Andrew WK like ran out on stage and performed like a yeah. song yep. immediately yep. after. What, yep. what is Andrew Before WK it, doing these days? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Remember still, when he was on Destroy but Destroy? Albums and shit. He's still releasing albums and shit, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Damn. According to Anthony Fantano, they're still pretty good. Ah, the more you know. Anyway, all I remember him is from, uh, whatchamacallit, Destroy, Destroy the Destroy. Destroy. Yeah, on Cartoon Fucking Network. I love that show. I love that show. That show was awful. I hated it. It was amazing, but it, it sucked, it, but it was great. I hated all the live action Cartoon Network crap. It, was, it, was, it sucked, but it was great. It was good for kids. That's the best way to put it. Uh, what's your opinion, quite on the trailer? Um... I think we said this when we were watching it, but uh, fucking Borderlands on Doom Engine. Yeah, 
That's pretty much what it looks like in my opinion too. It, it doesn't it doesn't look good. It doesn't look bad. Um, it just looks, in my opinion, really mediocre. So, Diesel, did, have you formed an opinion yet? Um, I'm just gonna say I hate everything from the C3 except Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, the. You Samurai hate everything. Stuff. You hate Cuphead. You hate Dying Light 2. Oh uh, no, no no! I have no opinion. I have no preference on those things. This is gonna be the weirdest <laughs> podcast ever because we're just gonna explain things that happened for everybody else that clearly saw it. And then we're just gonna say, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was bad. I mean, we're just giving opinions. Like that's pretty much it. I, I can't give like a in depth opinion. I do have a funny opinion, but that's for later when we get to Square Enix. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Diesel's all um, about se- Diesel's all about self sabotaging this podcast. Every episode. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much, especially when. <laughs> Especially when he shows up thirty minutes late or an hour late every time. <laughs> can, can we replace Diesel with Mac? I just needed to say that for the Mac mention. It's nothing personal, yeah. Diesel. Yeah, sorry, Diesel. It's nothing personal, just business. No, I just I <laughs> just, just business, needed to kid. I needed to mention Mac at least once. It's like tradition, bro. God. Okay, and then the next thing Bethesda announced was a uh, Elder Scrolls Blade uh, Blades, which looks extremely. Oh, it looks, looks like awful. a mobile game. <laughs> it looks like I, a mobile game. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna lie. I'm kind of curious. It doesn't look good. It I really think, doesn't. I think I'm waiting to see what they do with the VR for it. But you know. Ooh, I can see the premium <laughs> currency on the top right hand corner. Oh god! Yeah, but, it's like um, a little green thing. In my opinion, it just looks super, super average. Um, nothing really even worth. I don't even know if it's worth downloading. It just looks like you kill something and then you move, and you kill something and you move. Like that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, and I just, just like, I, I I'm just waiting to see how they apply it in VR because like that's the only I wouldn't care about it. Are on they mobile. actually putting it in VR? They said they were, yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting then. This Todd Howard interesting. said while presenting this game, you never know when you're gonna need a free hand. Yeah, yeah. and then and then you can play, you can play audience, it in portrait mode. Yeah, and then somebody in the audience laughed or something like that, and he called them degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he? Oh yeah, because, yeah, 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 because because he's like he's like you know it's like I meant for coffee, <laughs> degenerates. <laughs> the comments on this are hilarious. This person's like sees two currency, sweats and sweats is involved. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it just looks extremely mediocre. And the only reason I think they made this is because they said. Uh, in regards to Fallout Shelter, that Fallout Shelter got 120 million downloads. Holy shit. So, it makes sense why they're making more mobile games. <laughs> yeah. Um, Doom Eternal uh, was revealed, and that game looks good. I mean, it's Doom. The last Doom was fantastic, in my opinion. Um, so, this one's probably going to be good, too. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. There's really nothing else. Um, Wolfenstein, great, The Young Blood as a co-op, um, I think is a DLC, if I'm not mistaken. I I'm checking. I can't tell. tell. No, it's a brand new co-op game. Okay, so it is a new game. It's like that's a way co-op, out, but with Nazis. Yeah, to be honest, a co-op game like this would seem cool. Um, so that looks decent. Uh, and then we have Fallout seventy six, which I have a lot to say about this game because this is a game that I found out about recently because um, it was leaked recently. It wasn't announced. T- until recently, but it was leaked that uh, the next Fallout game was going to be a quote-unquote Rust clone. It was leaked on 4chan. Um, surprisingly enough, it, the person who leaked it was actually pretty correct. Um, and it was, it was the post was buried under a whole fucking thread, and it was it had no attention at all. But basically, it was leaked a while ago that Fallout 76 was going to be a Rust clone, and then they got an E3, and it is a survival game, but it's a very interesting survival game. It's a very interesting take, and I'm very excited for this game because. It's it's gonna be a survival game in the Fallout universe, which is like the perfect place to make a co-op online survival game. So I'm really hyped for this, especially since um they're gonna be constantly updating the game. It's gonna have free DLC. The only thing that's gonna be microtransactions based is the cosmetics. That's it. Um, hopefully they don't pull a Destiny in the future. Um, and then the best part about this game is is you can get nuclear codes to launch at people. Yeah. So we're probably just gonna copy Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy trees to build houses, yay! <laughs> yeah. But I'm really, I'm really psyched for this game. Um, hopefully, they make a couple changes. Like for example, at the moment, apparently every player is on the map at all times, oh. similar to GTA. Um, and they have, they have parameters in place to stop griefing and PvP being like really bad. 
Uh, but hopefully, because everyone on Reddit's complaining about the people being on the map all the time. So hopefully they change that, because it should be a pretty quick fix. But I'm hyped for the game. There, I'm, this I'm really, really is Minecraft. Game. I remember in I, some I servers they have a plugin where it's like you'd had to be like into like your fucking zone in factions to uh, in log out if you wanted your character to disappear. If you weren't, your fucking character just stayed in spot. Oh god. Well, I mean, in this game, your bases will disappear when you log out. Ah. So basically, there's no server browser, right? So each server you play on is different. So every time you log back in, um, you will be on a different server with different people. So in theory, the so you're just base? gonna pick up your base and put it somewhere else. Yeah, that's literally how it works. There's like oh, there's a weird. thing there's there's a machine called Camp, and it can pack up the entire base. I'm pretty sure it's at least how. I it wonder works. what Camp you, stands for, because <laughs> it's yeah. clearly an acronym. It is. It's it's Camp like with periods in between yeah. all the letters. I actually don't know what that stands for. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but um, I'm hyped for that game. Uh, Henry is gonna get, gonna get that game as well. So is Quackaday, and we've already pretty much agreed that we're gonna threaten people with nukes. Well, I'm so. probably going to get it then, too, if that's yeah. the case. Yeah, we're, we're going to play the shit out of that game. <laughs> it comes out um, in November November 14th, I believe. So, well, I'd pick it up then. If, yeah, if all my then, friends are already getting it, might as well. <laughs> might as well buy it. Fuck it. You know what annoyed me about the game, though? It wasn't available for pre-order on Steam or any digital market until Brandon, the 15th. Don't, don't pre-order a game. No, I am pre-ordering this game. Do you understand that's me? Such a, that's so annoying. No, I am pre-ordering the game. Stop, I'm pre-ordering part, it. I'm pre-ordering it. I am pre-ordering it. I'm pre-ordering it. I'm pre-ordering it. A hundred dollar version of like fucking games before the games even been announced. No, I don't. I don't. I never buy deluxe versions of games. I always just pre-order like the normal version if it's a game I'm excited about. I pre-ordered Battlefield 4 back like in 2013. Don't regret yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't been excited for the game like this since the Switch came out. So. You, you were really excited for Smash when that got announced. Yeah, and I'm just kind of like, eh, it's Smash. I'm going to enjoy it, but, like, I want Fallout 76 right now. Survival games from my childhood, Diesel. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm kind of like, well, yeah, Minecraft all day, but it's like, for me, it's like, I'm really excited for uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Wow. You skipped you Fallout skipped. Shelter. Do we and care? Starfield. Oh, really? Really? Fallout Shelter is really the big story there. Yeah, I'm well, sure it yeah. is. <laughs> All right, Fallout Shelter is coming on the PS4 and the Switch. Actually, it's already on both platforms. You can download it now for free. Um, Starfield was teased, and basically Starfield was a IP that uh, Bethesda filed a patent for in 2013. And ever since then, it's been like, when are they going to announce Starfield? Um, and Todd Howard seems to be really invested in the game personally, so hopefully it's good. Um, and then Elder Scrolls Six was teased. Um, fucking finally... Well, finally, finally just the logo, the, but I'm totally what, fine what with that. No, like knowing that it exists is all I need for now. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ, boys! Fuck. You just skip right over Starfield. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I didn't watch that bit. Yet the game that has a number six attached on the end. You're like, yeah, I'm real hyped for that. I didn't watch Starfield. Okay, I well, don't know anything star, about it. There's the barely Starfield, anything in that trailer. The teaser is. Okay, what's the just, point? The teaser's just space. I was I was gonna offer up. What do you guys think Starfield is? Oh, I, there was a documentary um, done by Noclip of them looking into the uh, making of Fallout 76, and they talked about Starfield, and I think it's a... I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, it's a single-player game. Really? It's a single-player yeah. game? Mm-hmm. Mm. I heard some Space. people speculating it was going to be a Star Citizen competitor. That'd be good. Um, I, I'd have to... He was really, like, Todd Howard, when he was talking about it, and other games in general, he was super closed-lipped about it. Like, he, 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 every time he went to say something about Starfield, he would think and be like, can I say this? Or should I not say this? Like, things like that. So, like, he was very, very conservative with what he gave. So, it's really, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be like a, a No Man's Sky, but actually good. Oof. So. <laughs> Sean Murray's sweating in his boots. What if yeah. it's a Star Wars game? Stop. Just <laughs> you, get, you get Jedi swords. Jedi sword. I'll call him a Jedi sword now. <laughs> uh, speaking of Star Wars, I read it was a Twitter moment today. It was like George Lucas's idea for like the Star War, like the next numbered Star Wars trilogy that was denied, and uh, he was talking about how he wanted to talk more about midichlorians, like the bacteria in people's bodies that allows them to control the Force. Magic bugs. Magic bugs, yeah. Well, he was going to explore that more, and there was going to be a secret race of microbes, and they were going to shrink down to, like, microscopic size, and basically Osmosis Jones, uh, Star Wars. So, 
<laughs> people complain about Star Wars now, but it could have been worse. <laughs> they mentioned uh, they mentioned the yeah, world. That like, wasn't that like an expanded universe? Um, I don't know if it was expanded universe. It's probably Legends now. Wait, well, so yeah, the Force? Legends. Wait, wait. So the Force is literally just bacteria in your body. No, the Force I, it's is complicated. like. It's like a numeric, like, you can actually get, like, your blood done, and then they'll see how many midichlorians you have in your body. It was like, it was like... <laughs> What's your force power it, level? It was <laughs> mystical in the original trilogy, it was less mystical in the prequels, and then they tried to make it mystical again in, like, the sequel trilogy. Yeah, basically it was like, what's your Jedi power level, and Anakin was, like, the most powerful. Over 9,000! No, he was, like, uh, he wasn't made up of midichlorians, but he had the highest midichlorian count of anybody that anybody has ever encountered. There okay, so bas- basically Weird he was the god of the crap. Jedi's. Basically, nice. he was Jedi Jesus. <laughs> okay. Except he turned bad. In- and yeah, he was yeah. burned in lava. He was born again by the sixth movie. You know, when he died. All right, Elder, the, Elder Scrolls Six. Fuck Star Wars. Fuck Elder Scrolls you. Six. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Six. Um, you guys know I love Skyrim. I bought it like three or four times. I just want. I'm just hoping they put Elder Scrolls Six in the Alexa. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> That fucking trailer killed me. Diesel, that did you funny. see that? Yeah. Okay, you didn't see funny. that. Yeah. yeah. You know you can Skyrim. actually download that, right? Very. That's a real Alexa. thing. Yeah, you can actually download it if you're in Alexa. Oh my I'm, god. I'm killing myself. You can actually play Skyrim very special edition on the Alexa. That could bar- <laughs> that barely works. Yeah, it does. It barely works. But it's not. But it's, you it's, can. It's just so funny. That just fucking Elder Scrolls on Alexa. I really Where wish you guys think this Elder Scrolls is taking place. I um, have no idea. Uh, well, well, let's mark down where it's already happened. Fucking, like, Cyrodiil, Skyrim, fucking, uh, Morrowind, Daggerfall. Uh, it's happened, uh, Daggerfall was... Wasn't that, like, the country where the Red Guards are from? That, uh, Blue no, that's was. Hammerfell. That's Hammerfell, okay. This one looks... I wanna... I, ah, uh, fucking... What, what fucking place are, like, the, um, Khajiit from? Uh, Elsewire? I think it's called Elsewire, but this is not Elsewire, because it does not look like Elsewire is described... Wait, uh, fucking, the trailer was, like, green and shit, wasn't it? Green and shit. I don't know, it was a bunch of rocks and shit. (laughs) Rocks and shit. I'm gonna look at this again and, like, try and get, like, a fucking, my bearings. Like, I feel like Hammerfell is, like, a desert, because, like, everybody there. There's already a bunch of videos being, like, Elder Scrolls Six location confirmed, and it's just, like, (laughs) It looks kind of like, it looks kind of like fucking, um, Iceland. No, 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 not, would you say Iceland? I don't know. You said Iceland. What, what would you agree or no? Because I, 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 I'm not not Iceland, not Iceland. That wrong choice, wrong name. I Iceland. Have, yeah. I, I'm just gonna say I have almost no clue about Elder Scrolls lore at all. I know a bit. I have like ten hours in Skyrim, and that's it. What? Yeah. How do you only have I, ten hours? I couldn't I think... get in the game. I just can't. Like, it, it's it's not my type of game. Like that's pretty much it. Dude, I don't remember any of my middle school years at Hoodie Academy because of that game. I mean, I played COD when I was a kid in middle school. Well, yeah, same. But I also played Skyrim. Okay, people have narrowed it down to Blackmarsh, Elsewire, Valenwood, and the Somerset Isles. The Somerset Isles is, is in fucking uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, so I don't think it'd Watch be Watch it be none of those. The entire <laughs> continent is in Elder Scrolls Online. Even Skyrim? Damn. Yeah, they all are. I mean, obviously they're smaller. It's not too scale, but... Oh, wow. Uh. I uh, think uh, the Argonians then maybe actually. I, I I think Black Marsh or Elsewire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like one of why, those. Why why a place where there's people? Just pick the. Let me play a Thundercat. <laughs> Thundercat. I think it, I really do want to explore one of those like fucking like one of the non-human races like places. Okay, Diesel, Square Enix, go. Square Enix. So Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, nobody gives a fuck about that anymore. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, no one cares. <laughs> Lara Croft They're moving gets beat the shit out of gets the shit beat out of her again in the video game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the video game. That's every single Tomb Raider game. She falls down and gets like maimed and <laughs> everything. Like there are compilations of Lara Croft just being viciously murdered. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. Like well, just like getting a fucking like tree stump like shot through her throat. Oh, that one's really bad. Or it's not through yeah. her throat. There's, like, one where it's, like, through her stomach. It's, like, a tree branch, like, in her throat, and it's, like, in the first one or something. Oh, that's 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 really awful. But Just Cause 4, 
looks like Fast and the Furious the game, and Th- I'm that's so That's exactly hyped. what Quackity said. That is exactly what Quackity said. There was, like, the story trailer with, like, the hype music and the muscle car and the tornado, and I'm like, this is Fast and the Furious. Like, you also, didn't pick that trailer. but Also, they, they apparently overhauled driving, so it's not going to be complete ass this time. Yeah, it was ass. It was ass. But no one ever did the, the fucking... Game. It, it was like a two minute long trailer where it was just like this loud bombastic like rap music <laughs> and this like the old dad was like oh here it is no this is the same fucking one damn it I, I'm having trouble finding that same trailer that I found but what, the, the trailer one? just had Rico like doing a bunch of cool shit with explosions and then like he drove like the muscle car into the tornado and I'm like oh my god I want this I want this really bad <laughs> yeah, this game is going to be incredibly mediocre, but I, I will get it anyway. <laughs> I haven't played any of the Just Cause games. Really? Dude, Just Cause is one of the best games just to cause. just do anything. And that's it. Like, you, you want to you wanna grapple a plane to a car and pick up the, the, the car and then drop it? Yeah, you can do that. Just nice. Cause 3 adds, like, helicarriers and, like, jetpacks and shit like that and, like, the DLC. Yeah, and, the like, best Max thing to do is just, is just get 100% <laughs> completed games that just put them in yours and then there you go you have everything <laughs> so you have everything you're disposable to fuck around with i thought you said you had a rant though about square enix oh uh, no i just want to talk about how it reminded me of fast and the furious because i really love the fast and the furious movies those are okay. the best movies i own a box set with all of them <laughs> okay then. <laughs> okay and then we have ubisoft uh, Ubisoft came out of left field with a Mario Odyssey, um, <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Uh, but no, it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, it takes place. You had in, me for a second. I was very confused. <laughs> <laughs> it takes place in Greece. I'm pretty sure. Um, is that correct? All right. So I'm about. It's yeah, either Rome or Greece. Or. It's ancient Greece. It's ancient Greece. It's okay, ancient Greece. Greece. It's, yeah. There we it's go. Like, talk yeah, what other Greece would shit. it be? It's it's fucking Assassin's Creed. Well, Greece Greek. was made up of a bunch of city states. Okay, like back in the day, there's a Greek city states. So, yeah, there's Spartans from Sparta. Yeah, which is why I'm buying it. It just takes place in Sparta. Sparta. I didn't say Sparta. Well, I said Greece. One of the places. Yeah, which is why I'm buying it. Oh, because only reason. Spartans. Only reason. Okay, that's great. What's up, my Spartans? You're just, just gonna do that as soon as you boot I, up the game. Like, every like you walk in. every Spartan I fucking see, I can just walk up to be like, "What's up, my Spartan?" <laughs> What's up, away. my Spartan? <laughs> <laughs> Wild Spartans! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Wild Spartans! Shut up! Oh, God. Sh- I would make fun of your name. Your name's Ethan. Um, all right, so then Beyond Good Evil Two. What do you guys think about that? Because I know I don't know if Diesel was. Were you hyped for that Diesel? I was, but honestly, I forgot it was coming out. I mean, I'm hyped oh, yeah. for it. I don't know what the fuck it's going to be. Man, I don't even know what the first one is. Nobody played it unless you It came like, out a very, old. very long time ago. I, yes. Henry is the only person I know that has played that game. What, like, what fucking, like, what is it about? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I played it when I was, like, young. So I don't remember, but I do remember playing it. But this game is not like the original. Yeah, I don't know what they're planning on doing with it. It's well, still yeah, like, it has a two next to it. It's completely different, bro. What the fuck? It's still pretty cryptic. So I thought it was like a oh okay, so it's like an open world, like RPG. Now where you're a pirate okay. captain. Okay, that's nice. Um, the first game was like an action platformer, so <laughs> it was like okay. Banjo and Kazooie time. So this is, is like a totally different. Big difference. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh. Is it multiplayer? Um, I believe they said it was multiplayer. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay. Um, that's pretty much all I would say that, because, like, that game was... It's still, it's still like, there's, there's not much information on it. Anyways, uh, next up with the multiplayer game, we had The Crew 2, which I don't think anyone really gives a shit about. The Crew was ass. It was. Anybody care about this game? It looked like all? garbage. It, it doesn't look good. Okay, next up in the twos, we had The Division 2. Um, the Division was ass. It, it looks it looks like The Division. The game literally just looks like The Division. That's it. It looks exactly the same. If you Division. told me it was The Division, if you told me it was DLC, I would have thought it was the same fucking game. Division, divide by zero. Now, oh, real, real fast, the next one we have coming up is one I'm looking forward to a lot. Just Are Dance you actually? No, I no. am 
actually going to go and like jump out my window. Like it's fun because it's a fun. It's like it's a fucking party game. That's it. No. no. Thank no. you, Brandon. Well, I know. Well, Brandon doesn't fucking socialize with anybody. Like he doesn't. Well, see Brandon doesn't three move, or so I don't think he knows how to dance. I don't like. Know how to of move. course, you don't care about party games. No, I care about Mario Party, but not Just Dance 2019. Nerd. Loser. Oof. I, I, Just Dance games are like so. It's just it's Just Dance. They literally introed it with a fucking furry panda. Are you kidding me? I didn't watch Excuse the fucking me? presentation. It's, but it's Just Dance, bro. What you gonna do? Like. So they, what they did was for the intro is they they took the they they pre-recorded an intro where this panda was dancing in a fucking alleyway with like backup dancers and shit, and then they walked through the building and then went to the door and then it cut and then all these these fucking dancers just went on stage and started dancing. That's how they announced the game. And it, and the J- Just Dance Two, if I'm not mistaken, was the first fucking game they announced. So it's like they started off with a with a furry as like their starting thing. So. I don't know why they included it in their E3 press like conference. Like did, like they does always it, was yeah. It, it, it's so it's so fucking weird. It's like who cares about Just Dance 2019? Who's actually at E3? It's like the same thing with um with EA fucking shoving sports down your throat. No one there cares. Like seriously, that's massive. it. Okay, that's it. Skull and Bones. Who who's seen this at all? Anybody? I this saw the trailer. Pirates looks, again. It's uh, it, is it? It's basically just Assassin's Creed boat boat again. Yeah, it looks it looks like one of the better pirate. Games. Assassin's Creed boat. <laughs> Assassin's Creed boat edition. Just no, just boat, just boat, boat. Okay, so trials rising. Anybody see this? And tr- trails rising. More That's trials. Like trails. Is it? Tri- I said trials. Trials. Right? It's trials. You you wrote trails on the thing. I did. I got confused. Yeah. Oops. Oopie Oopsie. doop. Oopie doop. Anyways, uh, it looks okay. Um, it actually kind of looks graphically. It looks pretty shitty. <laughs> like, I don't for- care. I don't think That's it matters. That's how I play trials. Age. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like it, it's just surprising, you know, because it's like usually these these look pretty good, but it's, it's kind of just looks okay. Um, okay, now we're in Sony. Who wants to do Sony? Anybody watch Sony at all? Uh, I lo- I watched everything on this list. Okay, you do um, then. Uh, Last of Us Part Two. Uh, like, think say what you want about the lesbians doesn't bother me at all. I kind of like it, but <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously, who fucking gives a shit? Like, exactly, like who fucking cares? The gameplay looks great. That's all I can fucking say. Like. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that shit look looks. Oh God! Yes, no. I didn't okay, even play the first Calm one. Calm down. I know there's this. lesbians in the game, but chill, <laughs> bro. I'm, it, wait, what the fuck would lesbians do for me, Brendan? That's something that would do for you. I know, I know, Quaint. I know you like dick. It's a joke. Okay, whatever. But um, wait, quite yeah, I didn't gay? even play the first one, and I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go on. Just go on. <laughs> Just completely ignore it. Just completely no, he, ignore it. The more he pauses, the more attention is brought to it. Quite. You need to continue. Go. Quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, Ghost of Tsushima. There you go. <laughs> come uh, on. It look, It looks good. Like, Ghost of Tsushima looks beautiful. Uh, the cut, Like, it doesn't look like it has any HUD, which is a neat choice. But, like, I don't know how I'm going to, like, feel about it playing it. Because, like, you couldn't really gauge so much from the gameplay just by, like, watching the little amount that there was. Most of it, I feel like, was just showing off the visuals. Yeah, that game looked really good. It looked like a really... It was a pretty game. It looked pretty. I don't know, like, as a game how good it is. Yeah. Or how good it looks. But I Last mean, of Us looked fantastic, I know. Um, it, in the game, it, it looked like if you slice somebody, it's like they actually died and actually got sliced. <laughs> and not the just slicing like, cut the thing. Yeah, basically. It looks like but, For Honor, but just the samurai part. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, For Honor got an update thing we didn't talk about because it's For Honor and who plays that game anymore. For Honor is a really good game. If you haven't gotten For Honor, isn't it free to play now? What did they do to ruin that game? Because I remember when it came out, it had really good reviews, and then it just plummeted. They portioned off the audience by charging for DLC, but they should have really done what Fortnite did and just introduced, like, a battle pass. Yeah. Fortnite Rip. has one of the best microtransaction models I've ever seen in my life. You're gonna see everybody copy that now. <laughs> I I know. You know how like Battlefield's like, hey guys, no loot boxes. We have the new battle pass. <laughs> like that's all they're gonna. What do, do they call it? Like a like a warfare token? No, they license, they actually they have some kind of loot pass. crate system, but it's like Atlas something. Like it, it it's so fucking deceptive. Like they have microtransactions in the game. They're just fucking with people. Okay, next up. Uh, Death Stranding. 
I, a lot of people said like it just looks like Walking Simulator, but like it, it, it still got me intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. Like the game, the game's intriguing, right? But that trailer and the whole the whole thing for it was so fucking confusing. That's it. That's all they have to say about it. They're being it, it, very vague about this, despite it, showing so much. The only thing that I got from it is the guy from Walking Dead found a fetus. He holds the fetus. He takes Norman the fetus Reedus with him. Fetus. Um, he yeah, makes he, deliveries. Yeah, exactly. He makes deliveries, and he takes the fetus with him, and he hides from invisible alien things he can only see with a special light. Yeah, but there was also the other trailer with the Guillermo del Toro looking yeah, character del Toro. um and mads mickelson and he's hiding from like world war ii soldiers and they're made out of skeletons i have no idea what this game is about <laughs> i i just know that i want it <laughs> yeah i i just know i want it because it's kojima and he's like one of the only video game artours that's like in the industry still didn't he get fucked over by his company Yeah, he got fucked over by konami but now like sony was like oh you, you like making games. We'll let you make games because you'll make boy, money. Boy, do we have a deal for you, buddy. <laughs> boy, we'll hand you a blank check. And then he makes like Amazon Prime the game. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, this costs so millions of dollars, Kojima. Dude, dude, working for Jeff Bozo could legit be a survival simulator. Did you just call him Jeff Bozo? Yeah, that's what I like calling him. Don't uh, Amazon employees have horrible like working conditions if you work yes, in like, a they warehouse? Yes, they, yeah. they get paid minimum wage. They pee in bottles, and they usually sleep outside the warehouses to get it, like to get up on time. See, but that was that was one warehouse, you know? Because I have a friend who works at an Amazon warehouse, and he has time to pee and go home. <laughs> and he just does, like packing shit in like the warehouse where See, yeah, like, it also I've, depends I've it also like, depends on the demand of the warehouse yeah i mean like i know i guess it just depends where we are because like i know some that like literally just play fortnite when they get home and they're fine damn i don't know i mean i mean like during the holiday season it gets hectic anyways and okay. uh last on this list was a uh, spider-man hold on spider-man I, I have a question does monkey jones really voice electro <laughs> does he? i don't know he Wait, put out a tweet he's like i've been keeping this very hush for a while but I'm happy to announce that I am, uh... Oh, you're an oh. asshole. Well, that, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I gotta go and delete stuff. Thank I gave you, you a timestamp. Shut up. Anyway, anyway, Monkey Jones tweeted out that he is the voice of Electro in Spider-Man. And I can't tell if he's joking, because Electro sounds just like him. I think he's joking. Very, it sounds just like him, Brandon. He's probably joking. But he didn't he, elaborate on it. He just left it in the open. Does it have a cast list yet? I don't think so. But he said it was him, and I could believe it, but then on the other hand, I can't believe that. See, he, he probably, like, was watching it, and he's just like, holy shit, that sounds like me, and then he memed it. That's probably I don't what know. happened. He didn't answer, he just left it up in the air. Someone figure that out, please. <laughs> he's not. Uh, I uh, regret to inform you that after my big announcement yesterday, Insomniac Games received many emails about me. This morning, they decided to remove me from their Spider-Man game because I worship the mass shooter Elliot Rogers. They're replacing my work with Danny DeVito. <laughs> See what I mean? None of these are real answers. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know. That could be a beam still. I don't. Uh. Anyways, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man, looks, Spider-Man good. looks good. There was a point in the trailer where it looked like when he was running, it looked like he was like on roller skates. It looked really weird. So, like, hopefully that's fixed. Because I don't know if I want to be running around with roller skates. But other than that, it looks like a good game. I'm kind of glad I have a PS4 over an Xbox. So Spider-Man! 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 Next up, we have Nintendo, which is, like, literally just two things. Fortnite, Fortnite and the Switch, um, Fortnite. which I have played. And if you have... Uh, let me rant real quick. If you have uh, your Fortnite on a PS4, I'm sorry to inform you, you can't play Fortnite on the Switch because Sony are assholes and lock your account. So, yeah. You can't play on Switch or Xbox if you have a Sony console, which is fucking retarded. Um, uh, but, yeah. Uh, but Fortnite's on the Switch. Honestly, it's super mediocre. Um, the trailer for E3, they used PC gameplay. They totally did not use the Switch gameplay because it looks like ass in comparison. It looks like a mobile game. So that sucks. Yeah, but like, they clearly didn't spend time optimizing it. Because if Breath of the Wild can look the way it does, Fortnite can look the way it does on PC. Or at least like on lower settings and not some... It legit looks like it's 480p resolution. So, 
it doesn't look good. Uh, and then next up on the list is the last thing that Nintendo had that was actually like meaningful anyway. Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. I want this game. Not- That's it. I want it. No, I mean, it looks it. great. It looks like um, Smash Bros. Yeah, it's, it looks fucking great. All Every fucking character's coming back. Um, Except for Waluigi. He's never in the game. <laughs> Why? Oh, did you I see there's an actual DLC Washington character. Post article that uh, that said Waluigi was robbed? Like, it was yeah. so fucking angry. It's funny because it's like, Wario's in it, but Waluigi isn't. He's a, give, Walu- like the, give Waluigi the spotlight, so, please. Apparently, they decided to like make like characters that are literally just clones of others. Like t- they decided to make them like Echo characters. So yeah. Daisy, like she's not a new character; she's just a Peach copy. But like, um, there's fucking Lucina and all that shit. They could have just made a fuck fucking Luigi co- Echo character. I would have been fine with that. Who actually? Yeah, they could have echoed uh, Luigi. But um, yeah, the Echo characters are kind of just like skins for your characters, really. Yeah, I think that I think that's a, that was a good idea. They should have been doing that for a while. Yeah, I think they're gonna add more as well, and they pro- they might even have DLC Echo characters you could get potentially. I can see it would be like that. fucking. It would be like how in Injustice they like certain heroes were close enough that they could just replace. They could make the, the characters a skin. Like fucking, I think Supergirl had a Power Girl skin. Like the Green Lanterns like were interchangeable between like uh, John Stewart and uh, Hal Jordan. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So like. It, it looks good. Like I, I'm, I'm hyped for the game. I just, yeah, I'm way more hyped for Fallout seventy six though. Also, also Ridley. That was, that was fucking weird. Yeah, is he an actual character now? He's a character, yeah, but he's like, the, I he, think he's like, he is going to be the last character you fucking unlock, like a hundred percent. Well, he's like, he's like human size, kind of, uh, like in his normal fort- fighting form. It's weird, and I think his final smash is like he gets, he gets real big, like Giga Bowser time kind of meme. Yeah, but. Nah, he's gonna be. He's he's probably gonna be the last character you unlock. What other characters do you think they'll add? I don't know. My girl uh, Bayonetta's in it. Yeah, yeah Bayonetta's yeah, yeah, yeah. in it. Well, every okay. character that was in Smash Damn. before is coming back. Damn. Damn. <laughs> the Wii Fit uh, I back. hope I hope they work out the deal with Microsoft to get Banjo and Kazooie in there. Yeah, that'd be good. Like Wait, Microsoft owns Banjo and Kazooie. Was... Yeah, they own the they own the rights to them. They, they said uh, a while ago. who was it? Phil Spencer. He said he's not opposed to the idea wait so then why why was sony wait why did it come out on the playstation first if microsoft owns the rights banjo and kazooie what are you, you thinking mean? about oh crash wait Bandicoot? no no i'm thinking crash, crash bandicoot. bandicoot my bad my bad i'd like to see crash too yeah because really, how the fuck is really crash confused. bandicoot coming to the switch that still like boggles my mind when does that come on the switch by the way um i don't know well, i'm really excited for okami on switch that's what I'm, like, been waiting for. Bandicoot. Oh, I'd also like to see Okami. There we go. That o- is another Okami one. would be dope. Um, this is like kind of off topic, but like one game that you left out of the Microsoft section that I was hoping to see on the list was uh, Devil May Cry Five. Like I fucking love. Like oh, I just put games that I, I think that would have had like a oh, general Dante interest. looks like a total daddy now. That's not yeah, yeah, yeah. Dante looks fucking great. God fuck. Beard. Mm. Beard. 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 <laughs> Beard. <laughs> God, I, I fuck with that. <laughs> Beard. I'm excited. Dante oh would be another good Smash character. I, it, I think... Not, he was in PlayStation All-Stars. It's not yeah, happening. I know. That's why. Are you kidding me? I think it comes out... I think it comes out the 29th. Are you fucking kidding me? Why can't it have listen, been like two listen. weeks sooner? If, if any characters we don't want, we can always mod in later. Using homebrew. True facts. <laughs> we See, can mod in. you fucking figure out how to do it. Because I never learned. Mod in Kirby. Very complicated. A lot of Kirby. A lot of curves, a lot of, huh? Mm, a lot of. That's the last that we have on the game list. Anything else as we say wow, about certain guys. games? We sure brought a lot to the table. This we week. definitely we did. So much to talk about. We definitely did. Okay, uh, quick question. Wait, should we have our uh, who won E3? Topic about dicks. No. Oh, well, what do you want to say about dicks? <laughs> but, wait, does Kirby have a dick? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, hold on. Who do you think's packing the most heat on the Smash roster? Okay, I'm just gonna mute on Discord definitely until Mario. you guys are done with this. You think Mario has a definitely big Mario? It's definitely Mario. <laughs> Ultimate. Hold on, I'm looking up the roster. Ultimate roster. Quite, quite genuinely muted. <laughs> quite does not want to have a conversation about this. I don't know why he doesn't um, like talking about dicks. Fucking weirdo. Um, like I think probably uh, probably Animal Bowser. Crossing. Oof. <laughs> I think I think Bowser. Actually, I don't know about. See, that. you I can't think... just go off of pure size. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying Ridley. Mario. 
Because what other reason would Peach stay with Mario for Bowser? Ridley. Ridley. Just say. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't know. He's got a man. robot dick. <laughs> this boy's gonna keep base boosting. Maybe Rob. Uh, <laughs> Rob could just like put on a bigger dick. Every time, every just so like for the people listening, every time I fucking like say something, like I mute and unmute. Wow, there we it's go. a really good wow. joke if you've explained it to them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I know, you isn't the joke the funny because I explained what it was? Actually, I think Me Fighter has the biggest wiener. You can change what you can change the length of Me. I can play dick. myself. That new feature, that's why. new feature. You can change the length of Me Fighter's dick. There you go. Hmm. Bowser Jr. might be packing heat. Cloud okay. has to have a he's Bowser like a Jr. Child. Shut Bow- up. He, he's a Don't, child. Shut no, up. he's probably like fucking forty years old. He's Bowser Jr. Who gives a shit? He's not even a person. Bowser, oh the reason God. Bowser Jr. is in that big fucking uh, like pot is because oh his dick's so big. Oh my God. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things, boys. This is why I didn't want to talk about this, because it always goes to places like this. <laughs> it's just a meme, Coy. Calm down. Don't hold care. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. But just because Greninja? you don't have a dick doesn't mean we can't talk about dick. Greninja with the tongue Can you like do it that? on your Everybody own time? Head. Fuck you. Diesel's okay. fucking fast. Okay, so dude, Little Mac's legs do. are so shredded. Who's? Little Mac. His oh, yeah. legs. Beefy. Beefy. Damn. Lil, Lil Beefy. Lil Beefy. <laughs> okay, be my so, rap name. so I think Kirby has the biggest dick, and uh, who won E3 in your opinion? Go. Kirby. No, for, for real, Diesel, come on. For real, who won? I didn't watch E3. I don't I care. Not even out, of the game, at, out of the games, which ones were the best? Like, what, which games, company had the most good games? I mean, they all brought pretty strong, like, lineups this year. Except EA. EA didn't bring Jack Except shit. for EA and Square Enix. EA lost. Everyone else won, but EA lost. Okay, out of so the EA ones I care about, about, Sony. Me personally, Bethesda. Oh, yeah, but wait. Elder Scrolls said, yeah, Bethesda. No shit. Let's give it to Bethesda. Don't, don't feed six. into Todd Howard's sweet little lies. Like, they could have, like, done mobile games the whole time and then, like, showed, like, a single frame of Elder Scrolls 6 and I would have said they won. I just want Fallout 76. I want Elder Scrolls 6, bro. I want Todd Howard. I want to collect nuke, nuke codes and nuke people. That's what I want to do. No. Okay, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Dennis Rodman fixed America. Calm down. Brain's about as fat as Kim Jong-un is. Hey, that is really insulting because Kim Jong-un is awful. So, guys, the reason that we keep talking is because we're actually trying to pad the length of the podcast. No, we're not, actually. I'm just waiting for us to stop talking so I can do the outro. Oh, shut the fuck up and let him do the outro. I want to (laughs) leave. Okay. Diesel, I'm so glad you enjoy our company and our recording of the podcast. (laughs) Okay. Thank you all for watching this episode of Loud Mouse. Diesel's a very unhappy boy. He's also an hour late. Um, um, uh, like the like the podcast on YouTube. Leave a comment. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on iTunes and SoundCloud as well. If you want to, follow us on Twitter at Loud Mouse underscore. And that is all I have to say. Kirby is the biggest dick. Bye. <laughs>